Hello everyone, I will be making a tutorial, kind of unedited rant about how to fight Gyor quickly. There is a 5 to 7 second time save, which is pretty easy to do as long as you have a good position. And it requires, during the first phase, to land on the platform instead of staying in the water, swimming back, and jumping on. If you're on the platform, he instantly starts to charge rather than swimming around for whatever five plus seconds it is uh worth it if you have the good position if you don't have a good position don't go for it because you will get eaten if you don't land. so first off we're gonna go to guy or he's gonna always in the up left position and we're gonna stand in our original position which is going to be either <clears throat> between this line or up here i like to be kind of to the left like that and then we want him to be close enough, so we're going to hookshot him. If he jumps out of the water at this angle, it's not a big deal. If he's in a different spot, like towards the right, and he jumps, if he gets too close to the left corner, you will you can bonk, and it will kind of ruin the fight. But let's do it without pausing. So yeah, that's fine. He's jumping towards the platform, which is good. So we're going to go a little bit wide. We're going to just do this fight normally. So notice how I'm aiming, like, way down there. On the second hit, you're going to go back up like that. It, it takes a little practice, but if you're in a good position like that where you're not going to bonk, it automatically starts the fast fight. So I'll show you. We're on here, and he's already charging. Now, obviously, we're going to finish the fight. That was a really early shot. Should work. So it's pretty, it's pretty straightforward. There's um, different positions in which he can jump at, but as long as you aren't bonking against the water and you're somewhere towards, and he's somewhere towards the middle of the line right here. Like if he's in this area, like around this area, you can swim basically like at that angle and attack his nose. You can actually attack his neck and then go right. I like to attack his face, but basically, yeah, you don't want to land on the water like that, but the positioning isn't too difficult. Let me do the fight one more time. Uh, I'm not gonna edit this video, so it might seem like it's gonna take a while, but it shouldn't. So let me go back. Uh, I don't know the value. For the boss room so we're just gonna do this one more time and uh yeah it's definitely worth it don't go for it if you can't land on the platform though just stay in the water like yeah it's a five to seven second time save but it's worth it if you can get the positioning every time guy can be a really big troll so let's do this one more time But yeah, he's always going to be the up left position. Sometimes he's really close, sometimes he's not. But if he's towards, if he's like in, in between the corners, like in the middle, kind of, I like to be more on the left side. But if he's too much on the left side, you can bonk on the corner. But it really, it, it's pretty much like the second to last hit that you do, you want to start going up. His hitbox isn't that small, like you can hit him, but... You want to make sure you have enough time to jump out of the water. If you don't jump out of the water, if you're not quick, you won't be up in the platform. You have to be at least in the air because he's going to fall down. You need to be above the platform when the uh, the second phase triggers. So let's see. Yeah, that's a good position too. So I'm going to stand in the same position, basically like right there or maybe to the left a little bit. Yeah, that's still a good position. Like, you can go out here, but yeah, you want to go in at a good angle, so like, that's a good angle. Shit. I don't have enough magic. Yeah. Basically fucked that up because I didn't have magic. It wouldn't have worked. So yeah, like, like this position is fine. This is really dumb. I could have had that easy, but I didn't have magic. I wasn't thinking. 
So like if he's in this position, you gotta be careful because he can be close to the corner. That's fine. Just like that. So you can just go around and practice. Obviously I had one less hit on him, but that position is always gonna make you land on the platform and you need to land on the platform. But it's just like the angle that you go up at him and making sure that on the last hit you angle up. But yeah, it's it's faster and it's worth it to set it up as long as you don't bomb. If you get a bad position, like he's too far to the left, you can bonk into this wall and then you basically miss a cycle. But that's the only risk to that fight. Um, sorry about the kind of long, unedited shit that I'm doing here, but I just wanted to, you know, keep it nice and short. Hopefully this helps with people. It helps people with the trick. I, uh, if you have any interest in asking me questions, you can direct message me on my Twitch or whatever, whisper me. Alright, later guys.